Hello everybody, this is TT95 here, and welcome back to Dreamfall Tractors. There used to be a lot of these creatures down here, grubbers, but they've all vanished. I don't know where they could have gone. They wouldn't really fit in upstairs, especially not with the, uh, those new guidelines vis-a-vis -vis magicals. So, what we're looking for is right there, a floaty thing, what you can row in. Uh... Boat? Boat? That's it! Row, row, row your boat gently across the, uh... the deep, dark, eldritch, subterranean lake filled with all kinds of ancient, tentacly weirdness and sleeping gods. Please, bird, silence. Crow! And I'm just trying to lighten the mood, big guy. You need to laugh more. I laugh when it's appropriate to do so. Show me. What? No. I won't perform for you like a... a trained ape man. Come on. You can do it. It's easy. Like this. <laughs> See? Open your mouth. Smile. Push air through. I mean, I have a beak. I don't know how it works for you humans, but if I was going to guess... Ha! Ha-ha! Ha! Ha-ha-ha! That's, um... Sad. That's sad. But frankly, that was disturbing. Please don't ever do that again. You have my word. Good. So... Did you and April ever hook up? You know, mate, copulate... No! Bird, you need to learn common decency. And I am gay. I don't mate with women. Interesting. Wait. I prefer females myself. This is but the first like time you're saying this in the nice game, dude. System. And as long as I'm not starting a family of my own. So really. have you Although tell I would that like to start a family? Anna yet? <laughs> it may not show, but I've <laughs> oh. plucked some gray feathers. And I can feel it in my wings. Most mornings, so that's why that, they're stiff as oh, dry twigs. I won't be around Loku forever. It would be nice with a young Loku wife to take care of me in my twilight like years, to regurgitate uh, my food and care you know. for our hatchlings. I'd like to pass down some of the wisdom I've acquired through my journeys across the world mm -hmm. and all the jokes. So I'm sure you'll meet the right sense. bird someday, soon. <sighs> I hope so. I really hope so. Oh my goodness. I was gonna say, like, how long is this rowing? Like, they didn't do the triggers. They just... The trigger buttons. They just, like... LB. Which is not a trigger button. <laughs> like, you would think if you're rowing, you would use the trigger buttons. But no! We are. This is it. This is unbelievable. It's beautiful. My skin's... My skin is tingling. There's a strange energy coming from that... These are dreams. That swirling blue pillar? If you listen closely, you can hear them. Thousands of voices. It is beautiful. This place was built by the grubbers who lived down here as some sort of container to store dreams. And now the grubbers are mysteriously gone. There's probably some greater plot here that I cannot possibly wrap my little bird brain around. The tower's right above us. They built the tower on top of this place. That can't be a coincidence. Oh, speaking of coincidences, I remember the temple that used to be up there, before they tore it down. It belonged to the Sentinel, the protectors of the balance. Nice place. Beautiful murals. Shame it got destroyed. And like I said, probably just a coincidence. That's my way up. I'll fly up and wait for you at the top. It'll take you a while to climb the whole way. We're climbing. Great. This can only go up. It can only go up from here. <laughs>
Trying to break through. Oh, this isn't good. Took longer than I expected. I had time for a wee nap. Light. This is incredible. It must have taken years to build all this. It's pretty nifty. And oh so shiny. You a Zarya really have into time metal, for this. aren't you? So, what now? I need to access the engine's central control panel. There should be a speaking tube there I can use to reach Anna, Eno, and Fedaus. I'm guessing. That would be in the center of this chamber, and there's someone there. It's just one person. Can you see if he's armed? I don't think so. He looks really old and frail. You could probably kill him with your pinky finger. Actually, he looks familiar, but I'm probably wrong. My eyes aren't what they used to be. We need to be careful, or he may raise the alarm. Stay here, bird. Crow. Crow. It's Crow. It's... <sighs> These are all part of the engine, connected via pipes. How do I get over there? I think I jump maybe here. Or not. These are all part of the engine, connected via pipes. Splines are reticulating. He might not pose much of a danger, but he could call on the Matrix. tower sentries. I need to stay out of his sight. But the speaking tube's over there, ain't it? I 
I'm fairly certain the thing that he's in front of is the freaking speaking tube. These are all part of the engine, connected via pipes, and walk right into the hands of the tower sentries. What am I supposed to do then? Get to the speaking tube. He's in front of the speaking tube. You're not giving me any more clues to what I'm supposed to be doing. He might not pose much of it. It appears to be an old man. He might not pose Trans much of a danger, but he could call on the tower sentries. I need to stay out of his sight. Like, if I can, like... Like, something over there, if I could, like... Like... Switch something over here and like get him to. This is irritating. This is irritating. So irritating. Really? What chapter are we on? Are we on 11? I can't remember. Get to the speaking tube. How do I get to the speaking tube? I'm looking it up. I can't. Mm, okay, hold on.
threshold activated. Imaginary infrastructure fabricated. Dream tracks are withdrawn. Trans divide vibrations are within accepted magnitudes. Initial tear has stabilized completely. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I literally pressed that button the last no sorcery, time. No suspicious wiggling of fingers. Oh, I mean, the first time. I'm not a wizard, not really. Honest to God, I'm. I'm a, a an engineer, just an engineer. For some reason, his oddly shaped head brings to mind Guillen. There's something familiar about him. What are you doing here, old man? What am I? My dear chap, I designed and built this engine. This is all me. It's an accomplishment without equal in this world, and I... Uh... So, what does it do? Oh, what does it... Uh, uh it... Uh, <clears throat> it calculates. It's a giant calculating machine, that's all. <laughs> Pickled turnip beats the rod and nails every time. It's an impressive piece of work. Isn't it? A work of art. I got the idea for this after spending a, some amount of time inside a particularly insidious prison. Gods know what they're planning to use it for. I built the engine, but I'm not the one with the grand plans. You'll want to speak with the Prophet and his emissary. They're behind it all. I'm uh, merely a servant. As I said, just a humble engineer. I find that hard to believe. Believe what you... Oh, thank the cruel gods of old your hip... Oh. As I said, just a humble engineer. I find that hard to believe. Believe what you... Oh, thank the cruel gods of old your hip, finally. Please save me from this barbarian brute. Good job taking out the frail old guy. Hey, Clax! What does that mean? It means, hey, Clax! As in Roper Clax. Wizard, puppeteer, writer, entertainer, slightly creepy geezer. What's Clax doing here? Last time I saw him, he got arrested by the Azadi for doing a puppet show about magic. Don't ask. It appears he's working with the Azadi, not against them. But it doesn't matter. I need to contact Fadaz. And I'll be perching right over here, keeping an eye on things. Entrance hall guard post. This is Baylor. Uh, do you need someone down there, Dom? Dom? Hello? Well, I guess not. That didn't sound right. It was not. Okay. You should get it right next time. <laughs> Thank you. That's very helpful feedback, Bird. You're welcome. Yes, Mia. What, what do you need, Mia? Uh huh. Oh, we didn't transmit the wrong spheres again, did we? Oh, I, uh. uh, uh our apologies, Mia. We'll take a look at it right away, Mia. Wrong again? Yes. Should have taken my advice. <laughs> yes. Process of elimination. Shut up. Clean up, darling. Here, what's your problem down there? Not a rack in the gears. Eh? Hello. Hello. Mia. Da. Is the speaking tube locked again? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Wrong again? Yes. Should have taken. Yeah. 
Hello? Hello? Enu? Anna? Fadaus? Anyone there? How does this Shadow Forge thing work? We're here, Kian. Thank Goddess. So, what now? Hello? You don't actually have to speak so loud, Kian. We can hear you perfectly well. I'll put Fadaus on. One moment. Apostle? I mean, uh, Mir? Kian? Uh, right. Okay, so, remember our first conversation? You're inside the core now, the heart of the engine, and the chamber you're in, it's a, um, a, a battery. Mm -hmm. It contains all the dreams the tower has collected, millions of them. Mm -hmm. You've probably seen the big glowing blue pillar. Yeah. That's the vortex, the manifestation of the dream energy. You're standing by the main controls to the engine. Is he waking I up? I don't need details, Fadaus. Just tell me what to do. Sorry. So, there's a way to control the engine from where I am, but you need to give me direct access first. Right now, the engine will be in automatic mode, because it's, it's designed to be autonomous during the final calculations. You need to put it back into manual mode. There should be a panel to the left of the speaking tube. Locate the knob with a hand symbol on it. That indicates manual controls. And we're in manual mode. Good. That's great work. Um, um, we need to act fast because warning lamps will be lighting up all over. Now that we've disabled the automatic mode, you need to patch me directly into the engine's controls. How? Uh, do you see the, the panel on, on the, um, uh, I think the far wall behind you? Those are the pipes that connect to my location, to the, um, to the knobs on my console. You must switch that panel's redirector at the same time you switch the signal repeater on the main console. What? Switch what with what? At the same time? That, that panel's on the other side of the chamber. This oh, that one over there. usually requires two people. For Dows, I'm on my own here. You know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, sure. It's still the only way to make this work, so, uh... I'll figure something out. Hold on. Bird. Bird, we have a problem. Naturally. And since you're including me, Crow, in this conversation, what is it you need me to do for you? Fadaus needs access to the engine in order to reprogram it. Fairy Dows? Reprogram? Those words sound like gobbledygook to me. Crow. Just listen. Fadaus, will Crow be able to switch on the redirector? Crow? What Crow? Just. Oh, it's that adorable bird who's friends with Zoe. Hey, Kian, are you with Crow? How did that happen? Crow is a large and reasonably intelligent magical fowl capable of following basic directions can he turn the switch reasonably intelligent shut up I, uh, I don't see why not it's it's just a switch <sighs> reasonably good crow so crow that panel on the other side of the room there's a switch for Dows, what does the switch look like reasonably crow oh, really it's big and it's painted green. It should be easy to find. Even for a... Bird. A bird. Even for a... <laughs> oh, just wait till I get my beak on you, fella. All right. Point me in the right direction and I'll flip your switch. <laughs> Even a bird of reasonable intelligence should be able to pull that one off. Good. So, you'll need to go... I mean, that's the farthest one, so... There. See that panel? Look for a green switch. Wait for my signal. Then flip it. Gotcha. Wait. What kind of signal? A, a signal. I don't know. A, a, a wave. wave. What if you have to wave for some other reason? It could get confusing. A fine arm waving. I'll keep my eyes open for flapping arms. Wait! Flapping. Did you actually call me Crow before? Not Bird, but Crow. Crow. Just I have no go. Memory of that. You did. You, you love, love me. me. I'll do anything for you, Kian. Anything you want. I can't believe you called me Crow. 
Just do this, bird. Crow. There it is again. Consider it done, Keon. Partner. Best, Best friend. friend. Crow's on his way to the other panel. What do I do on my end? So, let's see. There should be uh, three panels where you're standing. And further right, another set of three panels. Yes. See the big lever on the first panel? Yes. That's the one you need to pull. There's only one. You can't miss it. Okay. Probably. Pull the lever and hold it down while the talking bird flips the switch on the other panel. Don't let go until I tell you to. Understood. Goddess! Kian? <gasps> Kian? What are you... Tana? Mother? Light. Why are you here, Kian? How did you... I'm relieved to see you. Where's... Where's Ami? Is he here? He, he's confronting Vamon's men. Together with the Resistance. Mother, we've seen the camps. We know what's been happening on Guyenne. I know. We... I know. We need to talk urgently. But not here. We must leave now before... We need... Wait. We... What are you doing here? I've... He kept my eye on this engine, trying to learn what it can do. Kian, I need to tell you something important, and we don't have much... Okay, remind me again about that sign you're supposed to give me, Kian. Was it one arm above your head, or... Oh, hello. Wait, what? You two actually know each other? Crow. Yes. What? Does what? everyone know each other? How many people are there it's in the world? It's a world, Crow. Five? I guess I should be used to this by now. I've been around you guys long enough. Nothing should surprise me. So, Mother, how's the Office of Scientific Research going? You just let me know when you need another message delivered. I'm your bird. The Office of Scientific... You... Work for the Office of Scientific Research? Oh, Kian. Works? <laughs> Mother Utana runs the Office of Scientific Research. I know this because I've been a messenger bird for the Mother both in Sadir and here in Mercuria. She's the top dog, numero uno. No one above. She is the Office of Scientific Research. I was going to tell you, Kian. Just... Not like this. Not now. I guess it can't be helped. You knew about the camps, about the Magicals, about what, what Sister Alessandra was doing. How long? How long have you known? Wait, are you behind all of this? I don't know what to say, except I am truly, truly sorry. She got, no. Down. Not like this. I'm sorry. Hold still. Not like this. Don't die on me. You left me no choice. What? What did you do? Did you just stab him? Why? Fly, That's crow. What happened here? Fly, Who's crow. That? Fly, crow. An inconvenience. I took care of it. What? What? For your sake, I hope you're right. What's the matter with you? That goon. He... He sucker punched me. Well, and now you're back on your feet, so get to... What's the bird? Crow, go! Here? Run, crow! You? Or fly, crow! Aren't you? Just go! Just... Oh, no! No, no don't! <gasps> don't! 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 Ah. Don't! 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 Distractions. The dreams are restless. 
The engine is ready. It is time. All right, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, comment down below, anything in general. And this is TT95 signing off. Bye, guys.